hi guys welcome to glitch guru in this video we'll show you what to do if you can't open any apps or programs on your windows 11 pc so to fix this first head over to the search menu and type in date and time settings now select the first result that appears now in this menu make sure that the set time zone automatically and set time automatically toggles are enabled once you have done that close the settings window Head to the search menu again and this time type in graphics settings. Now select the first result that appears. In this menu, turn off this optimizations for windowed games. Now click on advanced graphics settings and turn off this hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now go ahead and restart your app or game and see if the issue is resolved. However, if you are facing problems with a specific app like Microsoft Store or Notepad or the settings app for instance, you can simply search for that particular app. So I'll just type in Notepad. Once you see it, right click on it and then go to app settings. Now in this menu, you will need to scroll down and click on this terminate option here. Once you have done that, scroll down and click on this reset button here. Now wait for the app to reset and then try opening it again. If you still experience problems, right click on the start icon and go to terminal admin. Now in the terminal admin window, you will need to run a few commands. So I'll leave these commands in the description. You will need to run each of these commands one by one. So simply copy the first command, paste it here and then hit enter. After running this command, similarly copy the second command, paste it here and hit enter. Finally copy and paste the third command. Once you have run all these three commands, your issue should be resolved. However, if nothing else works, open the settings app again, go to the windows update tab, check for any pending updates. Once you update windows 11 to its latest version, your issue should be resolved. However, if nothing else works, your last option is to uninstall and reinstall the problematic apps. In most cases, this is a last resort that usually fixes the problem. 